everybody what's going on this is Derek Sims here back with a second video for today strange I know two uploads in one day wild right anyway TGIF thank God it's Friday I hope you all are having an awesome Friday out there today this video is gonna be totally different from what I have uploaded on this channel before this one is a shell challenge to an extent. This house has been previously semi-furnished. We get to put the finishing touches on it. It's kind of hard to explain. So <laughs> let me kind of explain. So a couple weeks ago, Twitter user the Simmer96 or Megan15 on the gallery posted a lovely, 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 lovely modern small home lot up on the gallery and it has not been furnished. So they wanted us on Twitter to go ahead and furnish it. And that is exactly what we are doing with this video. I added some landscaping later on in the video and added some splashes of color and added furniture to this place to make it more of a home, if you will. So this home is a one story ranch and various room sizes, that's for sure. So it was kind of tough to create what room would be, you know, for what purpose. Like, as you can see, this room is gonna be an office Usually with the offices, they, in my opinion, they should be out in the open, like in the living room area. But I don't know. It's just kind of different with this. So we are going to put an office behind the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen was already done. And what she did with this build is get the essentials ready for quote unquote tenants simoleon tenants so like the kitchen was built and ready to go all the bathrooms are ready good to go the garage was good to go the pool the landscaping even though i had to do a little bit of extra landscaping myself which is totally okay because we are allowed to add personal touches to whatever we feel may be appropriate to whatever we are building and I just think what Megan built overall was perfect and beautiful. I've never done a furnishing challenge like this before, so it was very new and very fun to do. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling with putting together the living room. The, the key to decorating this home, furnishing it, is making the colors work, making the trends flow. Does that make any sense to you guys? Like, it all needs to flow. You can't have themes and colors clash. And as you can see, I'm adding cabinetry. I wanted it to match the cabinets below, but it needed an extra storage area. So hopefully that's okay. <laughs> But, Grand Kitchen! So right now my thing is, we're making the bedrooms, there's gotta be a laundry room at some point. Put in this little puffy space. So, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle that in a little bit. Right now we're gonna tackle on the master bedroom. The sad thing about this challenge to me was that we couldn't change anything in the kitchen or the bathrooms, which kind of bummed me out because I like going to add lots of expensive things in the bathrooms, but we were not allowed to change what was already put down, and that is okay. I respect the decision made by the creator, as one should. So we left the bathrooms and kitchen alone, minus the addition of wall cabinets above in the kitchen. That was the only cosmetic change, besides adding appliances, which was allowed for the challenge. So 
As you can see right now, we are focused on window treatments. This is something I need to improve on for future builds myself. And right now, I'm just trying to put together all the bedrooms because I'm still deciding how many bedrooms I want there to be in this house, I think. Obviously, that's the master bedroom with the attached master bathroom. Next to that is a child's bedroom. And outside of that is a guest bathroom. And then you get the open living room to the entry, which I applaud Megan for putting those little room divider markers on the floor. It's a nice addition to tell what, what room is what, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. So right now, I think with this room next to the garage, we're going to make it the utility room, the, the laundry room, if you will. Cabinetry to match, and I kind of just want it to be literally like a little a laundry room. We're going to add a little sofa in here, I think, because, you know, what if someone wants to take a nap or sit down and wait for the laundry to be done? I thought about adding like a, a closet or a shelving unit in there. But I think the best way to go is just add a sofa. And, you know, it's just done and done. <laughs> so right now we are tackling the second child's bedroom. In each bedroom, I've made sure to add a laundry basket. Same thing for the bathroom, to add a laundry basket. Even in the guest bathroom, add a laundry basket because laundry needs done from the most important rooms with, you know, Dirty laundry, bathrooms and bedrooms, people. <laughs> Except the office, office, obviously, but in the laundry room. Mm -hmm. Except the office, except the kitchen, except the living room, and except the garage. So, as you can see, this house is a three bedroom, it could be a four bedroom, two bath house. fourth bedroom is being used as a laundry room and the backyard is very spacious the backyard is very spacious it has a little garden area and a little patio set and we're just gonna fill that in have a little seat and I'm still deciding if I want to add gardening or not like those little strips of green leave plenty of room for gardening ideas. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to find a car. <laughs> Not a toy car, like a legit sized car, because, you know, those are garages. So, apparently we can't do that yet, but that's okay. Maybe sometime. Who knows? So right now, we're gonna do the little touches of landscaping. We extended the sidewalk path from at the house to the sidewalk to give public access, I guess, to complete the access of path. And we are adding dirt to the garden as it should be because, you know, dirt needs to be in place for a garden, right? Or at least that's what I've known my entire life. <laughs> I'm not going to add a little fence border out there just because I want it to leave alone, leave it alone. But I think I am going to add a little garden back there 
by the patio set and I'm gonna add some dirt here with the bushes. I'm not gonna have it one whole row because it would just look weird having a standalone patch of dirt. I thought about adding an HVAC, but I didn't wanna add too much extra stuff outside that was not mine to the functions of the house. So with that being said, doing this little garden thing off the patio was weird to do because those little poles, the beams, had to work around all that to make the flowers look like they fit there. I could have added more, like patchy grass and stuff, but I just didn't want to. That is it for this furniture challenge. I thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.